Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. So I finally received the November Schooler Box. Uh, thanks to the postal strikes, it took a while to get here, uh, but I finally received it. I have avoided social media, so I don't know what's in the box, um, but I am really looking forward to finding out. So let's go check it out and make some art. Okay. Just get everything out of the box. Um, so I'm not going to go through the scroller zine just yet, um, but just looking at the front, it looks like graphite pencil, um, or graphite in general. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so right off the bat we have the scroller sticker. Um, and it looks like there's a face there and some graphite scribbles. Okay, it's quite interesting. Um, and then the uh, schooler challenge for November is leading light. Uh, so step into the light. This month's box is inspired by featured artists, emotive and monochromatic artwork. See what mood and movement you can create. Uh, experiment with tonal values by building layers of sh shading and mark making to capture the delicate balance of light and dark in your creations. Okay, it's quite interesting. Um, so, oh wow, this is heavy. Um, so it's got stuff over it. Okay, um, so this is a coat in or versatile. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, to be honest, this unscrews, but I have no idea what this is. Uh, I guess we'll have a look in a moment on in the scroller zine. Uh, we have a uh, Derwent pastel um, titanium and white pencil. Okay. Then we have uh, the same again, Derwent pastel in carbon black so these are pe pastel pencils nice um, and then we have a Derwent pastel sharpener which will be very handy uh, in kind of like a white plastic but still very handy um, and then we have seems to be like a Derwent theme a Derwent precision precision uh, 0 0.7 mil um, mechanical pencil which is very fine. Let me just push that up. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, it's very fine. Just okay. And then this is really cool. Um, we have a Kotinor Hushmuth. I'm sorry if I've said that wrong, I have no clue. Uh, but this is a graphite stick, and this is again very hefty. Um, this is really chunky boy um, yeah that's really cool nice and then we have uh, the sweet tree which is a tree called toffee from walkers yeah let's move all of that out of the way um, i am curious as to, to what this is uh, so let's have a look Uh, so, use this clutch pencil for expressive mark making. Which one did you get, black or red? You push the end there and it loosens it up. Um, so you can then move the lead to where you need it and then just release and then it becomes quite tight. Um, I'm getting pencil all over me. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, um, so we have these three graphites and then we've got two pastels here. Um, yeah, that was me being very dumb, but hey ho. Um, and then we have a graphite stick and then we've got um, a fine pencil. So we've got basically three different thickness, thicknesses of um, pencil uh, here. So you can really make some really fine marks and very thick marks um, so yeah that's really cool I've not seen anything like these before um, so yeah 
Um, and then the featured artist is uh, Sophie Pashiva. Um, and wow, these are absolutely stunning. Very um, hyper realistic. Um, and then in, in the magazine there's always like tips on how to use the art materials um, and that. And then we have the September Scrawler Box, uh, Scrawler Gallery uh, for people that have done the challenge. Uh, some really cool, cool ones here. Yeah, some of them I recognise. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And then this is the um, print that we get, which is absolutely amazing. I really like that. Okay. And then we also get a scrawler book, A5 140 GSM cartridge paper uh, from Frisk. Um, okay. And so it's like an off-white paper. Well, it's a de decent thickness and nice texture actually. Um, yeah, very nice. I'm, I'm quite interested in, to to work with these materials. Um, I mean the the graphite, but uh, yeah, quite interesting. Uh, so yeah, I'll have a think on the prompt uh, leading light and see what we can come up with.
This is the final art piece that I created using the prompt leading light and the art materials in November's box. Um, so my thought process was um, leading light, leading lady, uh, so someone in the spotlight singing on stage in front of an audience. Um, but I didn't just want to draw that, I wanted to be a little bit more creative. Um, so for some reason I decided to incorporate that into a light bulb. Um, so I did a fairly detailed drawing of a light bulb and then um, did uh, someone in the spotlight um, singing on stage. Um, as the figure was quite small, um, it was quite difficult to get the details I wanted, um, but um, because this was included in the box, which is quite a fine pencil, mechanical pencil, uh, I was able to, to get those little details. Uh, it also helped to sharpen lines and to um, get the details on the uh, metal screw of the light bulb. Um, so this actually worked really well and I'm quite glad that was included in the box. Um, I wanted to be a bit more um, sketchy on the outside um, and incorporate those mark making techniques that were mentioned in the scroller zine. Um, I used the graphite stick which was a 6B um, and this um, mechanical pencil once I figured out how to get the lead out um, but yeah I kind of used that um, to create the marks um, so I did a bit of um, cross hatching scribbles and other uh, mark making techniques as well um, the only one I didn't really uh, use very well was the uh, white pastel pencil um, I did try to use it on top of the graphite but it just uh, smudged and blended the graphite um, and then I tried to use it um, in the negatives where I wanted the highlights but because I was blending um, areas um, it, I kind of went over that um, and it, it just uh, smudged it so I just came in with my putty rubber which isn't included in the box and I just um, rubbed away the graphite um, and created those highlights instead. Um, I tried to be a bit more sketchy with the outside, but I wanted the detail um, with the light bulb and what was inside. Um, and I think I did an okay job. Um, of course, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I am a bit of a perfectionist um, and I am all about detail. So. Um, I wanted to make sure I inc incorporated my style uh, but wanted to also incorporate some of the techniques um, from this box um, so that's how I incorporated it and although it looks a little messy um, I actually quite like it um, for the most part. I thought I was done uh, with this prompt but um, I was going through Pinterest and I actually came across this image um, and I wanted to kind of replicate it. So this is a reference from Pinterest, um, it's not my own idea or anything like that but I really wanted to um, give it a go and use the art materials uh, to create this in this sketchbook. Um, so again with leading light it kind of looks like you're in the shadows you're in the dark and you're looking towards the light to get out um, for freedom and so when I saw this image I just thought it fit quite nicely uh, with the prompt um, so you're kind of in in the dark in the depth of a well or somewhere um, you can see a ladder here and you're looking up towards the light and you see a bird flying over um, and you're, you're trying to get out um, into the light, into the freedom. So this is um, quite a nice interpretation, to me anyway, um, of the prompt and I wanted to incorporate that in the sketchbook. Um, so you can kind of see um, the marks that I made, I did some scribbles, um, you can see the marks I made around the hole. Um, I did use my putty rubber to rub away um, the graphite. Um, the, as I said, this doesn't really work unless you use it as like negative space. Um, so I didn't really use that very much. Um, but I did incorporate the um, uh, carbon black pencil, uh, pastel pencil, um, and these pencils or graphites um, to get the darkness uh, of the 
uh, on the page so and they work really well um, I really do like these art materials so out of the two I actually do prefer this one um, but I, I, I like the fact that you know I tried something a bit different and um, was a bit more um, sketchy uh, where normally I would be about perfection and detail um, so yeah I will play around with these a bit more I do want to fill this sketchbook up um, and and play around with the prompt leading light and even do uh, some portraits and use this white pastel pencil um, uh, the way it should be used um, like the featured artists so I will play around with this a bit more I may uh, upload on Instagram um, so if you want to go check out my Instagram and see what I've uploaded please do um, it's in my description and at the end of this video um, but yeah this is what I created I hope you like what I created um, let me know what you think of it and what would you do with the prompt leading light and the art materials if you've got this box what would what are your thoughts of these art materials um, but yeah uh, for now uh, please do give me a like share and a subscribe and uh, happy holidays as well um, and uh, we'll see you next time take care bye